Hi, it's Dr. Sandy Laura Kramers. Thank you for joining us for the EYE show. This is podcast number 28. Thank you for everybody for subscribing, and I hope you will subscribe and pass us on to friends and family. Thank you all for those of you that have been emailing us and connecting with us around the globe. We have now people and patients calling us and coming in from as far away as Fiji, New Zealand, Australia, the Netherlands, Germany, Italy. We've been quite shocked by the feedback we're getting from the podcast and of course from our website and so forth. So please keep keep in touch with us and subscribe and pass this on to your friends and family. So today we're going to talk about one of the really new ways that have been FDA approved to help with dry eyes and it's called Truvia. It looks like this, comes in a little box like this. And what this is, is basically something called Verinaclean, which has been used in Champix or Chantrix, which is an anti-smoking uh, sensation drug. And it is a nicotinic acetylcholine receptor agonist, which basically for the pill, when you're taking a pill to try to stop smoking, this medication, Verinaclean, has been used to stimulate your reward center, to increase your dopamine, to help you try to find a way to not need the cigarette smoking. You can just take the pill and it decreases your smoking um, uh, addiction. So it is also helpful. One of the side effects of it is it can cause a little bit of extra tearing in the eye, and there's other side effects we'll go through in a few minutes with the pill form. But Oscar uh, Oyster Point, which is the name of this company, uh, Champix is under Pfizer, saw that this could be marketed as a nasal spray to help induce the lacrimal gland, which is the gland under your bone, to produce water, and as well as they think it might help increase the meibomian gland production of oil. Now this is very still controversial. I'm not 100% convinced on this, but we're gonna go through a couple of things. So Verinaclean has been around for many years. It was first approved by the FDA in 2006 as an anti-smoking sensation drug. There's been some positives and negatives with Verinaclean. It's a $919 million drug for Pfizer for the smoking sensation part. And so they recently in 2021 pulled the, the Verinaclean pill off the market because of the risk of cancer. So there were some concerns of cancer causing uh, components called nitrosamines in the pills and so they took it off. So that happened after uh, Truvia came out. So Truvia, we called the rep and said, what's going on? What's, is there any risk of cancer with this? They said, no. So as to my knowledge, there's no nitrosamines in this. And actually the preservatives in this are relatively, seem to be less uncomfortable for patients. So the main ingredient in this is Verinaclean 0.03 milligrams. And it has a bunch of preservatives, sodium phosphate, dibasic, HEPA, hydride, drite, monobasic sodium phosphate, anhydrose, uh, sodium chloride, and a hypochloric acid. So most of those are not the BAK, the bad ones associated with allergy. So we've had now about 20 patients have prescri been prescribed this. We've had three patients that love it. The rest of them have not really found it to be very helpful. So it's still early on. We know with Verinaclean pill, it helps about 20% of patients with smoking sensation. So there may be something with different types of patients are gonna react differently to medications. And so we're waiting to find out about whether this is gonna be a game changer or not. And so they have definitely marketed this to patients. I, I think I've even I've even seen, a, I think an ad online. Uh, it's the idea is the different way to have dry eye relief is your nose. And so I have a lot of patients that you know kind of are don't want to put things up their nose so the true tier which this is going to be compared to of course uh which is that uh, it was a uh, fda approved instrument that you would stick up your nose and stimulate the nasal lacrimal nerve was approved but patients wouldn't use it nobody wanted to stick anything up their nose so will this Truvia succeed or not depends on how willing a dry eye patient is or how really uncomfortable they are with their dry eye to <clears throat> stimulate their nose to make them tear. So if you stick a Q-tip up your nose, which I do not recommend, but if you do that, you will tear. If you if you tickle the, the, the nose hairs in your nose, you will probably sneeze and that generally will make you blink, it'll make you tear. So the question I have for these companies is, is it the actual chemical that's helping this or is it the physical component of just 
touching the nose hairs and touching the nasolacrimal nerve that's leading to tearing, which it does naturally, and does that, which you know can cause sneezing, does that cause the oil to come out because you're blinking and squeezing and sneezing? And so I think that's what my concern is. So I would love to see a study where you have Truvia on one hand, uh, and then you have patients that don't do Truvia, but just stimulate their nose hairs and, and or cause them to sneeze by sticking a, a very thin Q-tip up their nose, I suspect you're going to get the same result without the cost. So Truvia, of course, is often not covered by insurances. It's, it's of course, having a very heavy promotion right now, so it is. Um, but it's going to be probably about, I think it's around $80 a month or so. So we'll see how that turns out for patients. So if you look at the package insert, which I highly recommend patients do from time to time because it is quite interesting. Um, so a couple things you need to know. So Trevia is meant to be used twice a day. We're gonna go through how you use it in just a minute. And it is not recommended for people under 18 years old, hasn't been checked in children, has not been really avail available in pregnancy. So it's a category C because they haven't done the studies yet. So it's not recommended in pregnant women yet. And relative to that, let me just tell you what the side effects are that they reported. They apparently report their carcinogenesis data on here, which is the risk of cancer, and the two-year outcome using, it's not clear if it was, it was probably the varinoclean, uh, but it was 20 milligrams per kilogram per day for two years. They did not find any cancer risk in this, but yet the varinoclean was recently removed. So that's un un unclear what's going on with that data. And then the most common side effects of Truvia, uh, let me tell you what my patients have told me and I'll tell you what this says here. So most of my patients did not notice an effect. Most, uh, to a couple of my patients just couldn't do it because of just it was too irritating to their nose. And I said three patients really loved it. One patient yesterday said they really felt the extra water coming down of the eye, so they, they loved it for sure. But I haven't had the wow yet from my patients. Okay, so here are the side effects that you can have. Uh, five, greater than 5% had cough, throat irritation, and irritation of the nose. The cough was 16%, throat irritation 13%, and the nose irritation 8%. So that's basically the, the concern with this. And let me just show you how this works. You just basically take off the safety cap here. You use that, this little knob there, take off the blue top, pump it up a few times, it'll come out eventually and then you stick it in your nose. Each nostril twice a day is what it's recommended. I suspect many patients will get similar relief by one nose once a day. I think there is a component of the tears increasing from the lacrimal gland. The oil component, that's what I'm just not, I don't have any good studies to say that really the, it's gonna help save the meibomian glands. So I'm not negative against this. I am prescribing this. I'm just not clear on how it's gonna really uh, help in terms of long-term help for the meibomian glands. So that's my take on that. I hope this was helpful to you. Please pass this on. And if you have any questions, please continue to contact the office at Visionary Eye Doctors. Thank you.